All right. Good morning, everybody. Give me a second here to start getting all of my technicalities and all of those things out of the way. I was doing so good. And then, like, today I'm starting three minutes late. I know you guys don't have me on the clock, but still. Good morning, Marlena. How are you? All right, let me see if I can get my Soul Revival page going over here. Good morning. Good morning, Soul Revival. My page does not seem to be one working. Okay, so we're going to try this over here. I guess technically this is what you call pre-roll, I guess, if we're uh, being honest in TV parlance. You guys are sort of watching me get ready. <laughs> all right, let me see if I can get all my pages shared like they're supposed to. Oh, look at all you people on here. Come on now. Nice. What's up, everybody? Hey, guess what? It is the Yo Bro Show. Good morning. It is Tuesday. It is Tuesday morning, the 18th, or as I like to call it, day 110 of being held hostage by impending poverty. That's right. <laughs> mm. That's right, y'all. And I done got tired of Facebook. I got tired of Facebook and YouTube, like, basically telling me I can't use all the music I've been using. And yes, I'm sure I have infringed upon, nay, bent, if not broken, many copyright laws by using other people's music. So I'm just using my music today. So this is a little ditty that I've been working on during the quarantine. This is called the Drop D Funky Thing, because I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> hey, but if you like it, come on. If that don't make your booty move a little bit, come on. Hey, if you like it, I'll put it on iTunes and you can buy it because, you know, I am an artist, okay? I know I'm a corporate sellout and I'm your favorite God-loving patriotic rock and roll idiot, but hey, hey, so if I, if I were to finally, if I were to actually publish this music and actually put it on the iTunes, would you guys, would you guys pay $1.99 or $1.19 or whatever to download that to your iTunes? I'm just saying, you know, I, I'm nothing if not an artist. Man, okay, so today I'm dark. What's, I'm trying to have a... Is that better? Yeah. Anyway. Hey, what's up, peeps? Oh, wait a minute. Here comes the big bridge. This is actually where there's going to be a smoking guitar solo. I'm going to get my boy Dave Marshall or my buddy Kurt Myers or one of my one of my buddies that just shreds could come over here and throw some ball right here. Um, wow. Okay, so. Okay, are all my, oh, I still haven't got my Soul Revival going. Okay, so if you're watching on Soul Revival, I'm sorry. I can't see you. <laughs> because I just not know how to work my, I do not know how to work my equipment very well this morning. Um, seriously, what, what the heck, man? All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, okay, and there's nobody watching on Soul Revival right now. That's fine. Hey, that's all good. Hey, that's all good. Maybe they'll join us later. Hey, so, since it's just us, <laughs> since it's just us, and there's 21s of people watching this morning. Hey, um, listen, y'all. Hey, seriously, hang on. Stay. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, that's sorry. I know that wasn't very, I should have faded that out. My, hey, production value sometimes just goes out the window. I miss, honestly, I kind of miss having the big studio set up, but I feel like this is more intimate. Okay, oh, yes. Okay, so check this out. So apparently I'm going to have to go buy fingernail polish remover. Now, the last time I painted my fingernails was for a Halloween costume years ago. And all I remember is at some point I was like, eh, and I just start, you know, start peeling it and just kind of peel it off. Okay, I don't know what this chick used. But, I mean, I feel like my fingernails have been painted with automotive paint. This stuff won't come off. I mean, I keep trying to chip at it, and it just makes it bumpy. I don't know what this stuff is, <laughs> but it's not coming off. So I'm going to have to go buy, I, I don't know, do I need to buy some, do I need to buy some, like, you know, paint thinner? I mean, I just don't know. So y'all are going to have to put up with the painted nails for another day. Hey, hey, it's not your show. Don't worry about it, all right? My sensors are okay with the painted nails. Nobody said anything, by the way, that I know of. Nobody hollered at me. Um, <laughs> Chris over, yeah, Pastor Chris says he'll, he'll pay me to create background music. Oh, oh, he's got acetone over there. Thanks, Pastor Chris. <laughs> That'll take it off and a layer of skin. All right, let's see who my yo bros are on this morning. What's up, Marlena? Good morning, Rick Stetton. Now, the broken chains in the house. Good morning, Fred. Bible Biker Church in the house. Good morning, David Monroe. 
Oh, good morning, Eric. What's up? Brian Neiman. Oh, Brian in Indiana, no doubt. Man, and I will tell you, man, Brian, listen, dude, I know you and I have not talked a whole, whole lot over the years, but I have never known anybody that's enjoyed retirement as much as you, brother. I am so happy for you. You have been all over creation. He loves to fish, and he's fished them all. That is awesome. Um, good morning, Jim. Jim Clark. Okay, so one of the fabulous Clark boys is up in here. Good morning, Michael Curtis. Yes, right, dudes and dude. We got bros and we got bro. Actually, even the ladies are bros on this show. Sorry, that's just how it works. I have been called out before for looking at female friends of mine and going, dude, and they'll be like, dude, and I'm like, well, everybody's kind of a dude to me. Sorry, it's just how it works. Uh, good morning, Jay. Speaking of among my favorite dudes, <laughs> and Jay's a girl, and she's really pretty, and so I, I'm, I affectionately refer to her as a dude, but it's because we go way back. Um, good morning, Deb. How are you? Up in Gallatin. Do you drive in from Gallatin every morning for church? Good for you, girl. Mm. Hey, by the way. <laughs> Look what's hanging up, Deb. Oh my gosh. Good morning. Good morning, Rick. Oh my goodness, Rick. Rick goes, we got 26s. We got 36s of people on here. Good morning, Judy. Bad Rob Langston. What's up, bro? How are you, man? I'm so glad to see you. What's up, Terry Lee Yoho? All right, dude, all the regulars are on here. Hey, and listen, I want to, hey, listen, guys. I want to give a special shout out because I know that little thing over here will tell you like, you know, it'll say like there's 35 people watching. I know people will kind of bump, bump in because it's on, on their feed and they'll watch for like 30 seconds. So I understand that at the end of the day, when I go and I look at this thing and it says that, you know, I had 500 something views, I know that it's like, you know, there's like 30 of you guys that are actually watching. Everybody else just kind of bounces in and out or whatever, but that's okay. That's cool. What I want to do is for some of you folks that watch, but don't ever comment and uh, I may, I may not see you your name pop up uh, on the, hey, look who joined kind of thing. Like Melissa just joined. Hi, Melissa. It'll tell you that Melissa joined and things like that. Um, I want to give a special shout out to you guys because just because I don't call you out, I just want you to understand that, um, you know, a lot of these folks that have been watching for a while and people who are more comfortable just hopping in and, and typing comments and things like that, that's cool. Um, if you happen to be one of those people who just sort of watches but never really says anything, that's awesome. And I love you, and I and, and 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 I appreciate you being here. I mean, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, God put me on this earth to entertain and to encourage people. And if if it's your thing, just to kind of silently watch, that is cool. You don't necessarily have to jump in the fracas. Hey, listen, these people are funny and are very very engaged, and it's hysterical. But that's not for everybody, and that's not everybody's deal. So uh, I just appreciate you being here for a minute. I don't know why. I keep going live because because God keeps telling me to get up off my knees every morning and go, say, okay, go do the yo bro. And I go do the yo bro and you lovely people show up. So that's a wonderful thing. And I am so, so, so appreciative of you guys being here. Um, I, I think that there's probably some things going on. And listen, hey, hey, y'all, I'm just saying, I think I feel some things going on. Um, I think that I think I feel some things going on, and I feel like um, God is pulling me um, to do more things with this little platform that we've started here that you guys have helped me start. So anyway, all I'm saying is is that um, okay. So I, I've got a conference call today at 9:30 with the company that makes the software that's that's going to help me sort of set up to be able to stream into the universe, right? So I'll be on not just Facebook but YouTube. I'm still posting the videos to our YouTube channel, which by the way is. Tiny House of Rock, if you just go to YouTube and you search Tiny House of Rock, I have a channel now. A few of you guys have subscribed. I'm posting the Yo Bro shows there, and I'm going to begin streaming there, hopefully as soon as tomorrow. Um, but I feel like there's a lot. Let me just, can I just talk to you guys for a minute because we're all buds? Um, I feel like um, it's very hard for me to talk about because I think that a lot of what I struggle with and a lot of, um, like I've talked to Greg my pastor, Greg Locke, I've talked to him about this. I've talked to Chris uh, Welburn, pastor at Biker Church. I've talked to him about this. I've, I've talked to Kevin, who's our, our, our worship leader at Global Vision. I mean, I've talked, to, I've talked to a lot of men I know in positions where they have some kind of a platform and that are much, much bigger than, than our humble platform here at the Tiny House of Rock. But I've talked to them about that thing where is this God telling me to go and do more things or is this ego telling me to go do more things and then go, God, would you bless this? Um, and I think maybe in our lives, all of us maybe have those moments like, this is what I really want to do. So God, is that okay with you? Versus being like, okay, God, guide my steps. Tell me, you know, so I have this pull in my heart and I'm praying about it every single day. Um, do you want me to try and do something more with this little bit of a platform I've got here? So 
anyway, so that's kind of where I'm at, and I'm feeling like I'm feeling like I want to do more. So streaming and then setting up that channel and then possibly doing. Um, I'm looking at doing a Patreon page, which is a, a, like a standalone website that I would have. It would be Trace Tiny House of Rock, like a web page where I can put all kinds of video content on there uh, that you guys can get to from anywhere. You don't have to be log into. You don't have to log into Facebook. Uh, you don't have to watch it on YouTube, and it also frees you up to put whatever you want on there. And I don't have to worry about YouTube suddenly deciding they don't want us to talk about Jesus and <laughs> slamming it down, that kind of thing. So um, anyway, I've got. I, I, that's brewing anyway. So I've got this conference call at 930 today. This guy's going to help me with some, some very, very cool software called Switchboard, which is going to help me stream wherever. Um, I just sort of have to figure out how much I want to put into this. And honestly, guys, thank you, Fred, for sharing. Look at that over there. Oh, you guys have been chatting this morning. What's up? What What are you people doing this morning? David, David's like, I need some more coffee. Yeah, no kidding. Good. My goodness, man. Judy, I'm so glad you checked in. She's probably already gone. She hopped in. <laughs> Good morning, Sandy. Hey, Miss Patty. Oh, Eric Satchel says, dude is a gender neutral pronoun and everything and everyone is a dude. That's right. On this show, everyone everyone, and everything is a dude. Thank you. So, mm. the lovely Miss Michelle is on. Good morning. All right. So, Jim is on. Michelle is on. I don't know where Keith is. But I got a little something special for Keith this morning. Uh, hey, what's up, Jane Hopkins? Hey, brother Steve McCart watching over on Soul Revival this morning. And Jill's over there. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Um, so um, so anyway, that's all I'm saying. I got I got something brewing. I don't know. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to keep praying it out. If you guys, if I could humbly ask for prayer for you guys for guidance. Um, Keith and <laughs> Keith, Keith and, and uh, Jim Clark up there in Michigan are both like just pumping me to pushing me. To, I think Keith's dream is a thousand people following us each day. I'm like, that, that would, that would be cool if it's what God wants, but you know, it's not about numbers. It's about me just continuing to kind of be real with you guys. It's kind of funny because all I do is kind of sit here and we just talk about life. Y'all it's kind of like, we're all just getting together for coffee every day. You know what I mean? It's just, we're just getting together to have coffee. Every, oh, look at that right there. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think Louie's on yet. Semper Fi, do or die, baby. Mm. So, uh, anyway, Jane Hopkins, I love it. She says, slamming coffee, getting ready for work. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so anyway, first thing, before I get too much further, let me tell you something. It's a beautiful day. That's right. Milo Wright, you've got to be, I think he's in his, he's in his downhill slide to retirement. I think Milo will be my first guest on the, uh, my first guest in the studio. Milo will be my first guest in studio. My second guest in the studio will probably be, I don't know, I don't know how we're both going to fit in on this tiny little screen here uh, because uh, my, my, my brother, Chris, my brother, Chris Welburn is, is going to be on with me. I'm going to get Pastor Chris in here with us and we'll, we may have to back the camera up and he may have to sit someplace else because between the two of us, we take up a lot of space. I'm not saying the brother's large. I'm just saying he refers to himself as the grape ape sometimes. I'm just saying, hey, I ain't saying the dude large. I'm just saying the dude is big. All right. So I'm going to get Chris on here too. Uh, anyway, we'll see. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Michael Summers, good morning. Oh my gosh, Michael Summers, I forgot about that. Hit your profile picture. Oh man, that profile picture. I want that. Somebody send that to me. Chris, when do you guys send me that? It's the SRBC Army uh, thing. Oh, I, I forgot about that. I forgot about that picture. Send it on. What's up, Nom? Dom's in the house. Um, anyway, hey, so before I get too much further, let me, do, let me let's let's break it down, all right? Because I've missed this yesterday, and and nobody said anything, but it's all good, it's all good. But y'all and y'all can call me out if you need to. But I forgot something very important yesterday. So here we go. You ready? Here we go. You ready? This is here we go. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Say that to yourself. All right. Deep breath. One more time. This is the day. The Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it. That is a choice that we make every single day. As I sit here, day 110 of being held hostage by impending poverty and having no jobby job, I'm telling you, every single day is a choice. And if I'm telling you, if you woke up and your feet hit the floor or if your butt hit the seat of the wheelchair, as the case of a couple of my brothers out there watching, whatever the case is, if you took that first breath, okay, and you were able to move, that means today is another chance. It's another chance for you to seize the day, make the most of it. Give this day to God and see what he will do with it. Bam! There it is. All right? There's your, this is the day cam. Used to, I know that used to be like a, a different thing, but hey, there you go. Hey, if you're new, you don't know nothing different. I used to have a special, this is the day cam. It was cool. 
So our production value may have gone down a, a bit, but hey, the heart's all still here. I mean, there we go. Oh my goodness, you guys are you guys are extra chatty this morning. That's awesome. Thank you guys for hey, and thank you guys for th that do decide to participate. Those of you guys who are quietly watching, again, I, I appreciate you being on here. And hopefully, help. My whole goal is, guys, at the risk of just making this all about me, because apparently I, I feel like right now it's all about me. I'm just talking. Hey, get your own show. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's like. It, as long I, I just here to entertain and possibly accidentally inspire. You know, that's just, just as long as you guys keep showing up. I'm just here. Hopefully, somebody gets a smile and we want to spread that smile around. Okay, that's all there is to it. And my whole goal is here is that I want the Joe Bro Show here to be just the beginning. I've got a, a lot of ideas for some other video segments and some things like that that will will continue to inspire and encourage and 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 entertain everybody in the way that like we've kind of gotten we've all gotten kind of used to. So I'm just gonna say that. So since I've been talking in circles anyway, uh, I've got a new segment on the show. I've got a new segment that's going to go on for the next 24 days because I did one yesterday. Uh, but here's the deal. Here's the deal. Um, I uh, I was called out. Actually, I was not called out. I was asked to participate in the 25-day push-up challenge. Uh, I was called out by my brother, John Basaha, who is a, a fellow bass player, and he's the lead singer of The Babies, if you remember the, the group The Babies from the 70s. Uh, and uh, he and I met through just one of those like you can't make this stuff up kind of circumstances. Turns out we know a lot of the same people. He's a he's a great dude. lives out in the, lives out in California, living the rock star life. Anyway, so John called me uh, out and said, "Hey man, your turn." And he's been doing this 25 25 days in a row. You do 25 push-ups, and the whole idea here is we're raising awareness for mental health. Okay, um, the idea here is that we want people to know, and I want you to know that. Uh, in the age that we live in, where we can communicate so freely with one another, uh, that no matter what's going on, I've spent a lot of time working with uh, f organizations that help veterans and first responders um, who are dealing with post-traumatic stress. But even everyday citizens, we all have a lot that we're dealing with. And a lot of you guys, I know a lot of you guys personally, I know a lot of the people that are around me that deal with and struggle with anxiety and depression. Here's the deal. We live in a world where there's no excuse not to reach out to somebody. There are no points. You don't get any extra style points for just toughing your way through it without, no matter how big a burly man you are or how big, tough a burly woman you are or how strong, you need, sometimes you need help. Reach out to somebody before you give into the darkness and do something stupid. Suicide is a very real thing and it doesn't just affect our veterans. Of course, the veteran community, 22 a day, I think that number is actually low. It's probably more than that. But but suicide is not is not a way out. So this is me telling you as a part of this 25 day mental uh, uh, mental health awareness. Reach out to me and and and, and to show my seriousness. Um, here's what's going to go on every single day for 25 days. I did my first one yesterday. Uh, I'm going to do 25 push-ups and then I'm going to call one of you jokers out or somebody else out to join me and to do the same thing. Do 25 days and post it to Facebook. So what I'm doing this morning is here's 25 push-ups. Here's 25 push-ups that uh, I'm doing today to raise awareness for mental health, okay? And I'm calling out our brother, Keith Clark. Now, Keith warmed up yesterday because he sent me a video showing me that he's not just going to do 25 push-ups. He's going to do 26. He's going to do one extra. So, Keith, uh, you're a stud. That's awesome. Um, but here we go. Here's my, here's my 25. All right, y'all ready? Hey, everybody do this with me. Ready? All right, y'all count them off together, all right? Uh, uh. Okay, yeah, here we go. You guys ready? Right now, uh, here we go. 25, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25. Boom. Boom, shakalaka. All right. I'll be sore for days, but Lord, there you go. <laughs> All right. There you go. There's your 25 push-ups. I've challenged Keith Clark. Jump in. Every day I'm going to challenge somebody else to join me. There we go. Mental health. Seriously, the times we're living in, don't fight it alone. If you need help, get help. All right. There we go. <sighs> okay. There we go. I was going to be all cool and everything and act like I'm not winded, but ugh. 
Hey, Martin would be so happy. Those of you guys who know who I'm talking about, Martin. <laughs> I don't think Martin's on Facebook. As many times as that man has asked me to drop and give him 25, oh, Lord. Mm. Oh, goodness. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Um, let's see, where are we at here? Have I missed anything? <laughs> okay. Man. Yeah, yeah, I still got my nail polish on, William. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, Julie's got a prayer request. Okay, so Julie's husband is in the hospital. Urgent, but not urgent. Okay, so let's add Julie, Julie Dankin in New York. Add her to our prayer list. By the way, guys, as always, you can put your prayer requests in the comments. I snatch them and I stick them. Um, I snatch them and I stick them into the uh, prayer warriors page. So you will be prayed for. Huh. Oh, okay, deep breath. Yeah, I'm not sure where Keith is this morning, guys, but I called him out. <laughs> so there we go. Um, okay, oh, what were we talking about? Oh, my fingernails match my pretty little coffee cup. Oh yeah, I don't think there's anything that could be less manly than your boy here holding my Marines coffee cup that our unofficial chaplain, Louis Earn, simplified to or not. Holding my Marines coffee cup with my pretty black nails. Okay. I'm sure that on some level you may have to, I, I don't think you get to, I don't know that you get to yank my man card, but it, I, I get a couple of punches in it, I think. Uh, anyway. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Hey, real quick. I have, I have been remiss in my duties. And my Bible is way over there. No, actually, it's over here. All right, so... Oh, I'm going to do something I've never done before with you guys. And that is an unprepared jump in the Bible, jump in the Bible and read it. Jump in the Bible and just grab something that's highlighted and read it. Julie needs comfort. If you guys want to jump in there and give me a Bible verse, that's great. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hello? You're hey. on, hi, you're on the air with the, hey guys, this is Bad Rob. What's up, brother? Hey, brother, what are you doing? Well, uh, well, I'm doing the Yo Bro Show, and what are you doing on my phone? You're in my comment section. What's up, man? Hey, I just wanted to call and say uh, that darkness, it is true, man. Yeah, yeah, I know that you know the deal. You and I both know people who've been through this, right? We've lost some people. Heck yeah. Yeah, absolutely, man. Well, I uh, so um, hey, so by the way, speaking of speaking of such things, um, do you want to tell everybody a little bit about the Fourteenth Hour Foundation? Because I know you've done some work with them too, right? Yeah, the Fourteenth Hour Foundation. That's with Chris Conto Toronto. Right. It helps uh, first responders and military in their time of need. Yeah. It gives uh, grants to military and first responders in their time of need. Awesome. Yeah, that's a good group of people right there, man. And Bad Rob is among the best dudes I know, man. We love you, man. Absolutely. Love you too, brother. Yeah, man. But the black nail polish, man. Oh, uh, oh God. Okay. Listen, I, today I'm going to go buy some remover and get it off because I'm telling you, this stuff is so I, thick. I, it's like... I, I can come up there and remove it for you. Dude, okay, here's the deal. It's not that I don't trust you to remove my nail polish. It's just that I do still need my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love you, dude. Thank you for calling in, man. Hey, that, that, that's bad, Rob, if you need him. <laughs> See you, brother. Hey, not a problem. If you need me, reach out, man. That's true. Nobody and, fights alone. And let me tell you something. Of all the people I know that say that, this brother means it because he's, he's actually run some people down before. If they disappear off social media or something like that, Rob will find them and go, hey, man, what's going on? Yeah. So I, I know he's, he's, yeah. he's, walking the, he's walking the walk, not just talking the talk, dude. That's awesome. I love you, man. I'll talk to you soon, brother. I love you, brother. Right. See you, man. That's bad Rob if you need him. Here we go. Check this out. I knew I'd find something. So Julie and everybody else, here we go. First John, remember me telling you guys, I love the book of First John uh, because it reads a little bit like the Cliff's Notes of the New Testament. Check this out. This is one of the things that comforts me in all kinds of different situations. First uh, John chapter four, uh, eight, verse 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear 
Because fear has to do with punishment. And the one who fears is not made perfect in love. So whatever it is that's going on, just look. (laughs) If you've got a true love, that's part of the comfort that we get from God, is just knowing that we're loved. And even when things aren't going right, we're still loved. It doesn't mean that there's God's not going to wave some kind of magic wand and make things necessarily better, but you take comfort in the fact that you are loved and that everything it says in Romans that he works all things, all things to the betterment of those who love him. So even when things aren't going great, we still have love, we still have comfort. So uh, I hope that is of comfort to you this morning, uh, more so than me continuing to wave around. Now I can't not look at my stupid nails. Ugh, sorry about that. So... Um, Oh, cool. We got, we got prayer requests coming in through. Oh, the Fred Marshall done dropped it down in you. Matthew 6, 25. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life. Fred put the whole verse in there, the whole section of verses in there from Matthew. Thank you, Fred. That's why I like having actual real pastors on here. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh, Melissa says that Martin even does that to women. Are you serious? He makes you drop. He, he's always telling you to drop and give him 25 pushups. That's funny. Uh, David, check. Got it, buddy. Um, Keith, all right. Keith Clark, my little girl struggles with autism. I'd do 100 if it would reach people. All right, so Keith Clark's in the house. All right, so, hey, well, buddy, do your, do your push-ups and, 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 and pick somebody else to do them. And I guarantee you before long, we're going get, to be getting more than 100 a day push-ups of, to raise awareness. That's awesome. So, ah, there we go. Uh, no, no, Fred, we're not going to use a grinder on my fingernail. If it was that, I've got a belt sander, okay? If it comes down to it, I mean, just, God, anyway, I will not be, I will not have black fingernails tomorrow. I promise. Because I, I, here's the deal. I got away with it at church on Sunday morning, but I don't know that I can get away with it again <laughs> on Wednesday night. I'm, I'm not sure that's happening. Hey, good morning, Jim. What's up? Jim Howe in the house. Santa Claus is watching, y'all. Be good. Mm. All right. Let's uh, let's break this down here, uh, guys. Uh, there's a lot of great prayer requests in here. Everybody, and what's great is you guys are. I got a lot of prayer requests in here, and you guys are. You got in both on both pages. We got prayer requests coming in. Uh, I will copy these and put them on the prayer warrior page. I I, I love that you guys are praying. Uh, right, like right now, just about every single thing is uh, we're praying for other people. I think that's great. But let's let's pray for each other. I've got an interesting little community of people here. Let's pray for one another and keep each other pumped up. Keep each other pumped up in these hard times. Um, and again, if you wouldn't mind, add me to your prayer um, because I've, I've got some decisions to make about how much I want to pursue sort of this platform and that God has given uh, me slash us and whether I um, need to continue or whether I'm waiting for the smart telling me it's time to stop. So let's break this down. God, thank you so much for this day. We are so thankful for the breath you've given us and another day, another set of downs to play with, another opportunity for us to, another opportunity for us to impact the world for you. God, help us share our light, embolden us to be the light today because we may be the only light somebody sees today. God, I thank you for the fact that you've put in us a spirit of fellowship and of camaraderie and that nobody will ever stumble across you. Nobody was ever just going to accidentally discover you, God, that one of us needs to, to share your love with somebody. Somebody somebody out there needs for one of us to share your love with them today. Um, and there's some folks out there that feel unloved. They feel unloved. They feel unlovable. And God, I've seen so many miracles just in the past year. I've seen, I've seen men come out of the prison changed, changed by just a few minutes uh, with, with Pastor Chris just sharing his, his love and his life, the love of God in his life with them. I've seen people changed by just having a few minutes where I was able to just share with them what, what you've done for me in my life. And, and God, people don't know that you're real and they will not know you're real if we don't tell them that you're real. The world wants to squeeze you out of everything. And God, I think that that just squeezes more of you into us and puts more of the responsibility on us. So God, help, God, help every one of us today to just be bold. We don't want to be jerks for Jesus, but we just want to share with people the light that you put in each of us. Um, God, I thank you for everyone who's watching this morning. I thank you for everyone who has even just kind of cruised through and hopped on for a second. Um, God, I ask you to take this message to somebody who needs to hear it. Um, I ask you to, uh, to sort of lead 
me and guide me in whatever needs to happen here with this platform. If it needs to be bigger, if it needs to be smaller, if it needs to go away, I put all of this at your feet, God. But, but God, as long as you keep telling me to, to, in, so to encourage and entertain folks, make people smile, I will keep doing it. So God, I thank you for this opportunity. Um, there are so many prayer requests over here in the comments. God, I, I, I ask that you, you touch every one of the people who is in here today. Um, anybody who's hearing the sound of my voice right now, I ask you to give them peace and to spread that peace to the people around them. God, gather us uh, all again safely tomorrow and uh, watch us as we go about our day. In Jesus' name, I ask all these things. Amen. Boom. Here we go. Amen. All right. So, all right. So, let me see. I got to get I got to get our bumper music going here. So, for those of you keeping score, I got 25 push-ups. Keith says he's going to do. Keith says he's going to do 26. All right. So, Keith. But the thing is, we got to have video evidence. We have to have video. <laughs> you got to post it, man. Um, there you go. All right. So. That's right. Oh, look, Lee Potter's on there. Hey, what's up, brother? That's right. Be the lighthouse in somebody's storm. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. So you can touch me up over here. <laughs> touch me up at yobro2019 at gmail.com. Um, <laughs> thank you for the for the yo Broers that sent me emails yesterday because I was I sounded pitiful because I was like, nobody ever emails me. So thank you guys who all sent me emails. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Uh, appreciate you guys doing that. Um, Anyway, you can email me there. I hope everybody has a great day. All right. I hope everybody has a great day out there. And uh, be the light. Don't run to the light, Carol Ann. Be the light, Carol Ann. <laughs> oh, Rob won. Rob got it. Yes, Rob. Are we still on? Yes, we're still on. All right. You guys go have a great day. Peace. Mmm. Sound like Reese Winans on the organ. Oh yeah.